Hello, welcome to this video. Okay, now this might seem like we're repeating ourselves from the introduction to Python for marketers, but I think it's important to go over opening files because errors can occur when you're doing that, that might put you off learning Python. I know it certainly stopped me opening files and thinking I didn't know what I, could, what I was doing. And if I hadn't did that, I would have might have made these videos about a year ago. So we're just gonna quickly go over some of the things that can happen when you're opening files. Um, first of all, we're gonna use pandas because we always use pandas. If you've landed on this video and you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to head over to the intro to Python for marketers, a lot more detailed. Also, there's a set of videos that show you how to install Python. So let's load our library, the pandas library. The first thing we're going to do is open a CSV file and I'm going to show you this CSV file. So we all come across CSV files all day, every day. Um, and it's comma, comma separated values is what it stands for, which I might be able to guess what that means. Uh, but let's have a look, see what it looks like when you open up in something like Excel, because this isn't Excel. Um, so it starts out with uh, a few rows at the top that don't follow the same format as the others. Um, and then some columns and then some more column data down here. So that all seems quite normal, but um, let's see what it actually looks like before you get it into your Excel. So if you open it in a text editor, you'll see all the little commas and that's why it's comma separated. Cool. Kind of useful. Okay, let's open this file. Actually, we're going to remove this because this is what used to happen to me. So this is a, an export from Google Analytics that we're looking at, right? And this is what used to happen to me all the time before I knew how to fix it. Oh, error. It's like, what is this? Reading these traceback errors or being able to read them is going to help you a great deal. Um, but this is usually this bottom bit is a bit that you want to focus on. And the beginning bit isn't very useful, but what you can do is you can just Google that whole line. If you get an odd error, somebody else will have had it in the world and have the answer. But this bit is, is the interesting part. So expected one fields in line seven and got 10. Now if we remember at the file we just looked at, there was a bunch of um, rows and then we bumped into a whole bunch of columns. And that is what that's talking about. It doesn't understand why the format of the data just changed. So in order to do that, we need to be able to skip those lines because they're not important to us anyway, but Google tend to give us that data. Um, oops, I'm not gonna skip footer. Get rows. Um, yeah, Google gives us that data and pretty much everything. Um, I think now you can see you don't want it, which is handy. Okay, so we're going to skip the first six rows and what that should do is drop all those ones at the top and just land us straight onto the column headers. So I'd expect to see the column headers as a top row and for this not to throw an error and it didn't. So next thing we do info because I like info before I look at the data. I like to see what it's made up of. Is it an object? Is it a flow? How many are there are? How many are missing? Uh, and the column names uh, and how much memory usage there is. So not much because it's a tiny wee file. Next thing we're going to do is look at the CSV head. And there we go. That's exactly what we were expecting to see. So if you're pulling stuff out of Google Analytics or some other file and it has this sort of, um, we'll call it a document declaration at the top and it tells you what's in the document, we want to skip that. And that's how you do it. You can also skip from footer up. So if we saw that here, um, let's have a quick look at the skips. So um, I'm hitting tab to give me um, a list of all the things that start with SKI. Um, I've never used skip initial space. That might be quite interesting. So I use skip rows, skip footer, and I don't know why there's a skip underscore footer. It might be an old bit of code. Uh, and skip blank lines, another quite useful one. So if you've got a document and at the top of it's just a bunch of blank lines, skip blank lines should work and help. Never used it, but it can be useful. Uh, oops. So that's how we open a CSV. If you ever, that's the most common problem that I've come up against. There will be others, but as I said, jump down to the, the error notification at the bottom, copy and paste it into Google or DuckDuckGo because they don't steal your data. Um, and you should be able to find the answer. <clears throat> Next thing we're gonna look at is text files. I don't come across text files like I used to. CSV seems to be the main dog. But if we look at this data quickly, so this is just two columns, so we shouldn't need to use skip. There should be no problems there whatsoever. Um, but because it's a text file, I'm going to show you the difference is it's tab delimited. So if you look at this file, you've got a tab space in between the data separating it. Um, and that's the difference between CSVs and text data. There can be other delimiters. You can use pretty much any delimiter. Um, I've seen plus signs being used as a delimiter. Um, and let me quickly, no, I actually won't do that. Um, so we'll open this and we shouldn't get any errors because the data looks fine. So that's fine. Info and head. Now what read CSV does is it automatically tries to look 
for the pandas don't read csv function automatically tries to figure out um what's the delimiter right so if there's no commas you don't need to use it um it, it won't it won't throw an error unless it's something really bizarre if you do want to set beforehand like you know what the separator is and you know it's not a normal separator so for example uh, maybe it's a pipeline or maybe it's a plus sign or an equal sign I, i've seen all these things you use a thing called set so it denotes separate or separator i think it is uh, equals and if it's a tab pretty sure this is right it's a forward slash t which denotes tab yeah kind of or is it s i've got a bit of a weird warning there but it worked and see it worked it understood it <clears throat> you would do the same for if we just jump back up to the top for a minute if we use set we're using a comma no errors it works okay if we use separate or plus sign oh see that's what you get because it's looking for a plus sign not a comma so it's ignoring everything that isn't a plus sign um i bet you if we just stick percentage sign because you can see in the document that there are percent percentage signs in there oh it looks all messy and then oh it's just it's chopping it up using the percentage sign so if pandas doesn't get guess it right in the first place you can always go in and set what the delimiter is um that'll make life easy er 